What's good, Grey Gang? Right now, it is 4.45, and we're about to go hunting season. And the thing about today, you see the orange on. Today is the first day of rifle season in Kentucky, or at least in my zone, because like in Kentucky, we have like zones, and it's really weird and complicated. But I am using this rifle right here. Now, this is a 243, you know, I mean, Remington 700. It ain't mine. But I'm going to use it anyway. The place I'm going to be hunting is not the same place that has Bucky. However, the place I'm hunting has deer that are bigger than Bucky even thought about being, okay? And I'm not lying about that either. There's scrapes on trees that big around. Now, I made this agreement with you a few weeks ago, but what we decided is that instead of shooting Bucky, we're actually going to go for a monster. And if a monster presents its shell, boys, we're going to bust him wide open. But yeah, there's definitely some great potential in this area. And, you know, I'm going to blow the grunt call a little bit. The rut isn't straight up... Full swing. We should get video of a lot of bucks, whether they're big or small. Right now, I guess they better be heading out to the stand, so I'll catch you later whenever I get up in the stand. But I ain't gonna be talking much today. Today's a big day. Guys, I'm not even gonna lie to you. My favorite part about gun season is I get to dress up in all camo and carry around a stinking sniper rifle and act like I'm in the Marines. By no means am I in the Marines, but do I feel like I'm a Marine? Oh yeah, I feel like I'm a Navy SEAL. And while we're at it, what's good, bro bro? Okay, guys, I'm in the tree stand now, which means I'm in a tree, but I've actually been here for about 45 minutes. It's just not been light enough to get the camera. Now, it's still not light enough to, you know, see the ground or anything, but I believe the sun's gonna come up here in about 20, 30 minutes, something like that, and we should be good to go. Like I said earlier, it is the rut, so big bucks can literally come out of any direction. And I am gonna have this little GoPro right here capturing all the action. Okay guys, I have yet to see a deer, but I do have these hot hands right here, provided by no other than you, the Grey Gang. Like for real guys, if you guys didn't send these in, I wouldn't be using them, because I'm way too cheap to buy these things. But, you know, I mean, hey, it's pretty cold today, I promise. It's really cold today. Well, guys, I got out of the stand. My butt was hurting, so I had to get out and move a little bit. Not much has happened in my neck of the woods this morning, you know. Haven't seen anything at all. Not even a dog. And that's pretty rare, too. I ain't even seen a squirrel today, guys. I ain't even seen a squirrel. I've seen a few birds. About 15 crows, you know. But no real wildlife. No of what you'd call mammals. But the day is still young, and we have a lot of time to see a deer. But to be honest, guys, I think it's about lunchtime. I'm getting hungry. Okay, guys. I was about to eat lunch, but I just saw her first mammal. I just spotted her first mammal. There he goes. Watch right here, watch right here. See him, there he is, there he is. Now, he is just a squirrel, nothing too special, but it's the most we've seen all day, okay? That's the first real animal we saw all day. Now, last night, I was mentally preparing myself for a day. I told myself, it is okay if I don't kill a deer. I told myself, it is okay if I don't even see a deer. However, last night, there was one thing that I said would not be okay, and it would be to be hungry. So last night, I packed my lunchbox, and I will not go hungry today. So guys, welcome to What's in Your Lunchbox, Kendall Gray Edition. I'm going to go over everything I packed to eat in my bag for today. Let's get started. The first thing I packed, I've done ate it. It was the honey bun. Number two, a Rice Krispie treat. Number three, fruit smile. Number four, a pop tart. My family's deer hunting favorite. Number six, or five, I don't know, I forgot the number, but number five or six, frozen hot ham and cheese. And number six or seven, non-fresh canned corn in a can. Okay, don't even put this on the list, okay? It's not good at all. But then again, it's not completely bad. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, guys, that's that's pretty bad, guys. Kendall's lunchbox tip of the day. Do not take canned corn on a hunting trip. Unless you're gonna cook it, that is. Then it's a good choice. And I got this bottle of water. And another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. I'm just kidding, guys. I've only got two of them, and I've done drunk this one. So, I've sort of... I've only got one. But, you know, it is the evening now. My scene has changed a whole lot. I went from being in a valley in a tree stand swamp to now I'm on top of a ridge sitting on a rock in a lawn chair. That's a pretty wild change up, but I'll take it. You know, I mean, this chair right here, it's pretty comfy, I can tell you that. The only problem is that if I do fall asleep and I fall off the cliff, I will most likely die and will never make a YouTube video again. However, if I don't fall off the cliff, I should be good. And have a really good chance to kill a deer, too. I'm actually here with my cousin and my uncle. My uncle didn't see anything of the morning either, and then my cousin, he actually saw four bucks and quite a few does, too. Hopefully, at least one of us gets a deer this evening, but you know what? If not, we're still having fun, and you know, we're still out here hunting, which is pretty awesome. And if you take a look to my front, you can see the other ridge of the mountains, like, bro. Like, for real. Look at all those mountains over there. I don't even know how far that mountain back there is, but I can tell you, it's a long way, and my rifle probably can't shoot that far. Probably not, but there's always a chance. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and, you know, just wait on a big one to start walking outside, and then I'm gonna shoot it. That's the plan. That, that's the plan. I don't know why all these vultures are coming through right now, but I guess that's good with me. Cause it's, I don't, I don't know what they're doing. At least 300 of them came through here today. At least 300. And they're still coming. This doesn't even make sense. Or at least I think those are vultures. I'm not even sure anymore. But I mean, yeah, I'm just here defending my white chair from all these yellow jackets and I look up and boom, there's a big flock of vultures. Oh my gosh. Oh my, what in the world is that? Oh my gosh. What is that? Is that some kind of mating ritual? What are they doing? What are they doing? Do they honestly think I'm dead? Like bro, I'm not dead right now. Leave me alone. Something's happening. I can tell you that. Something is happening. Wow. Boy. I don't know what they're doing. But I hope they don't decide to eat me. Because I'll tell you right now. If they decided they wanted to eat me, they could eat me. Like there's too many of them. If that flock of birds decided they wanted to pick me up and fly me away, they could do it. Like they could do it no problem. This is probably why I ain't seen no deer. I really need to be quiet, don't I? Just gonna make a real quick update. I have a confirmed sighting of a gray squirrel. That's about it. I'll see you later. I'm having a few problems right here. Number one, I ain't seen a deer all day. Number two, I ran out of candy. Number three, my hot hands ran out. That's a real problem, people. That's a real problem. I just want to let you guys know right now. If you're not already in the Grey Gang and subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and be a part of the Grey Gang. I don't know if I'll kill a deer tonight. I don't know if I'll kill a deer tomorrow. I don't know if I'll kill a deer this month. However, when I do, it will be a good one, and you will want to see it. And if you're not subscribed, you may never even know I posted the video. But what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is if I don't kill anything today, I'm just gonna put the footage from tomorrow at the end of this. So this vlog right here, this vlog is gonna be two days worth of hunting. So I'm, uh, well, uh, yeah. If I don't see anything tonight, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, Grey Gang, it is the next morning. We're going back out there, and I'm, uh, well... We're actually going, you know how yesterday I said we wasn't where Bucky lived? Today we're going where Bucky lives. Just spraying down real good right here. We don't want any mistake. Anything that can help us, like scent killer, we want it today. We are going into the home of Bucky. And we've already agreed on this, but I said I'd either kill Bucky or a really big buck. And let me tell you, the big bucks, they are coming out of their caves right now. I don't know why, but like, well, I mean, I do know why. It's called the rut. But in the last two days, bucks have came out of nowhere. This is gonna be a good day right here. It's gonna be a good day. I can tell you that right now. Right now, it's 5.30 in the morning, and I'm planning to sit in that stand till about 6.30 tonight. We should at least see one deer. To be completely honest, guys, yesterday I spent 14 hours in the woods, and I didn't even see a single deer. It was, it was kind of messed up. Today should be different though. Well, I got everything ready. I got my headlamp on. I got my rifle. I've got raccoon pee on my boots for, I don't, I don't even know why. Listen, okay, the packaging looked cool, so I decided to use it. It's just how it is. But anyways, I'm gonna head on out there, get in the tree, and just be as quiet as possible. I'll show you whatever walks through. Hopefully, it's at least a buck. I mean, hopefully, I stink and bust one today, but hopefully, we'll get some good footage of something else, too. Because yesterday, I did not even see the first deer, so I'll see you then, boys. Okay, so like right now, I know I'm back at the house there and everything, but... 
That's beside the point, okay? You should have seen it. Danger on all sides. Critters were everywhere. I was surrounded. They squirrels, ground squirrels, woodpeckers, mountain lions. Then about five minutes later, listen to this, okay? They all got over here on this one side of the forest thing, and they just started going crazy. Like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the squirrels, they were like having a boxing match, and all the other squirrels were just like, like, it was crazy. Like, for real. I got video of it. Listen to it. Like, for real, guys. I honestly believe that if I hadn't have sprayed coon pee on my boots this morning, I would not have walked out alive. Okay, guys, I'm heading out of the woods right now. I'm going to go home, cook me up four corn dogs, eat them with ketchup, and get right back out there as soon as possible. I'm taking me a little lunch break right in the middle of the day just because, well, it's hard for a boy like me to operate without lunch. I mean, that's just, I got to have it, guys. I got to have me some food. But, I mean, as the morning progressed, I actually did see two does, but I couldn't get this camera out quick enough for them because they's in and out. And they's about 100 yards away from me, too. But now my cousin was actually hunting this field right here, and he said he saw a three-pointer, so, you know. I don't exactly think the bucks were moving too amazingly awesome this morning. However, since I didn't see a single deer yesterday and I only saw two this morning, I feel like this evening is about time I see some deer. So hopefully I will. I'll get back at y'all whenever we head on back out. But as for right now, I'm gonna go cook me up some corn dogs. Okay, I just got done devouring four corn dogs and I'm, uh, well, you know, I'm ready to sit for six more hours, baby. But it took me about 45 minutes off. I ate me some lunch and I'm ready to skid after one. I don't know, guys, but I just have a feeling about this evening. I mean, I just feel like it's about time I see a deer, guys. I mean, I did see two does earlier this morning, but you know, that's it. And right now I'm going in on my 18th hour in the woods in two days. That's a lot of time, people. That's a lot of time. And that's a whole lot of iPhone battery, I'll tell you that. But you know, hopefully we see one today. But then again, it's fun just being out here. It's fun getting a hunt, killing something. That's always just a bonus. The fun part's hunting. The fun part's just being out here in the woods. Well, guys, I really don't know how to say this, but... Well, actually, I do know how to say this. I didn't see a deer. Like, I mean, straight up, I don't know what happened. Like, I mean, this is day two of rifle season, and I've seen two deer, and I've hunted all day, every day so far. I've hunted 24 hours and saw two does. But then again, you know, that's called hunting. That's what hunting is. Hunting's not easy. Otherwise, everybody would do it all the time. But you know what? That's just going to make it even better whenever I do kill one. Subscribe if you're not already. That way, you know, you can see whenever I do kill one. And whenever I do kill one, hey, God, it's going to be a good one, too. It's going to be a real good one. So if you're not already, turn on your notifications, too. Because if that video pops up, you want to be the first one to watch it. Because, boys, it's going to be a banger whenever I kill one. It could have been today. It could have been yesterday. It may be tomorrow. We never know about this. But we're going to try. We're going to go hardcore. And if we see him, we're going to bust him. If you like this video and you like the deer hunting, please hit the like button and tell me in the comments, you know. That way, I'll know to do more of it. But besides that, I'll see you next time, Grey Gang. And, um, uh, <laughs> if you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right. And feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up, down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.